entertainment for New Year's Day on Thames. At 12.35, the start of a new series of Give Us a Clue. That's That's right. Right. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> At one, the Queen and the Commonwealth, a look behind the scenes of royal tours as head of this multiracial federation. At two, top-class snooker with the first round of the Mercantile Credit Classic, where Hurricane Higgins takes on the suave Tony Mio. At four, take off with Superman 2, good versus evil. These humans are beginning to bore me. I'm in love with you. Well, we really better talk. Superman 2 at 4. Entertainment for New Year's Day on Thames. And next, the news from ITN, then Yul Brynner stars in the wartime story, The Battle of Noretva. So, two years in New York, and he thinks he can tell us how to run things. Well, we won't have it. It's all right. I fixed things. He's travelling overnight on the red eye. He had no choice. Not first class. Of course not. Company policy. By the time he gets in, he'll be exhausted. And he won't have had time to incorporate those new figures I sent him in his report. He'll be hungry and tired. I've arranged for the chauffeur to bring him straight here, not to the hotel. Like a lamb to the slaughter, gentlemen. Morning. New Club World delivers the businessman ready to do business. Pleasant trip. Yes, thank you. New Club World from the world's favorite airline. Muscles, muscles, windows, you know, back home we'd have to make our own entertainment. Long evenings, standing around the piano, wishing someone could play it. Still, we'd always end up running through some old favorites. Mm. Music to the taste buds. No, any Rolf Harris, mate? No, sorry, Gov. Looks like we're in for a good evening, then. Foster's, the Amber Nectar. There have been sales before, but never quite like this. MFI's biggest and best ever sale. Now on, open New Year's Day, too. <coughs> Coughs need really effective medicine. And nowadays, more and more people are going for Benelin, the number one name for coughs, Benelin expectorant. Recent trials with cough sufferers demonstrate that Benelin expectorant relieves coughs fast and effectively. Warm, soothing, and highly effective, really pleasant to take. If you haven't gone over to Benelin yet, join the millions who have, for the proper relief they've come to expect. Benelin, the number one name for coughs. Picture yourself with a travel card. You can save money just by using it for your trips to work and back. Use it at your leisure and you can save even more. On top of that, you're free to use the buses at no extra cost. The travel card, it's the business. If this is your idea of coal-fired boilers, you're sadly behind the times. Because the new coal flow central heating boilers can feed themselves automatically for days, providing heat all around the house and hot water whenever you need it, far cheaper than ever before. Coal flow central heating, part of the new face of British coal. For more information, dial 100 and ask for free phone real fires. Have you ever wondered how some holiday companies can offer such low prices? They may settle for cheaper hotels, or fewer resorts, more night flights. Some may even cut back on customer service. Not Martin Rooks. Because we sell our holidays direct to you, we can cut prices without cutting corners. Get a flying start to 1988 with the New Year TV Times. And three big thrillers. Panny stars Robert Powell, who lets us into his private life. Flood Tide 2 and Contract. Like to jet off to Florida on Concord? Keep the lucky number on this week's cover to enter winning lines, our half a million pound holiday game. 
At three o'clock, the latest news headlines from ITN. A detailed report into the 1957 fire at the Windscale nuclear plant was suppressed on the orders of the Prime Minister, Harold Macmillan. 30-year-old government papers released today show Macmillan insisted that a report revealing the full extent of the disaster should be rewritten. He was influenced by the Atomic Energy Authority, which told him the uncensored report could severely shake public confidence in nuclear power. Revellers in London greeted 1988 in relatively peaceful fashion. Police say there have been fewer arrests than in previous years, but the London Ambulance Brigade reports a record number of emergency calls. 50,000 people celebrated in Trafalgar Square, where the mood was good humoured. Only 48 were arrested. Police in Northern Ireland say they're preparing to deal with a major IRA bombing campaign. The chief constable of the Royal Ulster Constabulary, Sir John Herman, has warned that the IRA intends to use the most deadly equipment, which could include surface-to-air missiles. He said no one should underestimate the vicious evil intent of the terrorists. In Sri Lanka, a bomb planted in a hotel in Kandy has killed two people and injured at least 50. It went off near one of Buddhism's holiest temples soon after a religious procession. No group has admitted responsibility. The Soviet leader, Mikhail Gorbachev, delivered a New Year's address to the Russian people last night. He described 1987 as a watershed, marking an historic process of abolishing nuclear weapons. On the domestic front, Mr Gorbachev promised to continue with his reform programme. That's the news. Now here's the weather forecast. It'll be cloudy and mild with some rain in most areas and the maximum temperature 11 degrees Celsius, 52 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the news and weather to this moment. Now, mate, what you wasting it with me for? You got a whole bunch of morons in there? I call you a hero. What's the matter with you? We won't be able to escape. I'll sleep ahead tonight. Switch on, pets. Difficult. No demove. Andy Cap, where is that telly? Honey. Honey. I don't know the name. It's Scottish. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Should I change the antifreeze in the car? One knock for yes, two knocks for no. After Henry, next Monday at 8, leading off the best in entertainment, new for 88, on Thames. And here I am once again, minus the glasses. Hey, you noticed, talking of a new series at 12.35 later on today, it's Give Us a Clue. Now, the Battle of Noretvar.